Hello there guys, welcome to the channel where today we are talking some of this, some of that, but mostly Commander Cody, our beloved asshole clone that attacked our most beloved and meme Jedi Master. Listen, we all know what Order 66 did to the Jedi, to the Republic, to everyone, even the clones. They were programmed to think they were doing the right thing, but the catch-22 was that once everything got destroyed, the clones slowly started to get pushed out of the military and human recruits began flowing in to the point where they completely made up the Stormtrooper Corps. But before Cody was forcibly retired, I want to talk about his relationship with the Jedi. Some of you want to know how the clones felt about the Jedi. Guys, I know the Clone Wars portrayed a thoughtful Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Plo Koon and so forth, who took good care of the clones and maintained a friendship with them. But once Pong Krell was introduced, everything was changed. Here is an honest question for you. Do you think that there was only one Pong Krell out there? With thousands of Jedi serving the Republic, there are many more Pong Krells out there, guys, mistreating and abusing the clones every chance they get. You have to understand that a lot of Jedi thought of the clones same as they thought of a droid, simply as a machine that is there to do a job. Quinlan Voss was another Jedi that didn't give a damn about anyone, especially clones. Realistically, you can kind of understand how clones started to feel about the Jedi as the war waged on, Cody especially, he was a real by-the-book clone. He wasn't messing around most of the time and he was lucky too. Most of the war, Cody served under Obi-Wan, so you can kind of realize the smooth life that Cody had during that time. He wasn't frustrated daily, he wasn't miserable that he needs to take orders from some obnoxious Jedi every time he's going to war. That's what you have to get. A lot of clones felt differently. Slick, for example, he got tired of taking crap from egotistical Jedi who think they are always right. Some quit altogether, like Cut Quain. They made no attempt to return to war again. But Cody most of the time had it good. Kenobi wasn't bothering him at all, and what's weird, in an episode where Quinlan Voss meets with Obi-Wan and Cody, surprisingly, Quinlan was very respectful towards Cody, which was weird, since Voss was notoriously harsh towards the clones. Well, here's the closest thing we can get to an answer. In the Revenge of the Sith novelization, it hints at another Another reason why the Jedi never saw Order 66 coming. It was because the clones, including Cody, held no malice in their hearts, nor any ill thoughts towards their Jedi commanders in the field and elsewhere. They obeyed their orders, that was their job, their duty as soldiers, so they would have no feelings whatsoever. There was no sudden massive shift in the force to indicate the coming of such an event like Order 66, let alone during the war. Clones just did their jobs and the Jedi didn't feel any disturbance. Imagine yourself as a Jedi Knight or Master leading a battalion of clones in the closing phases of the war. Your troops are doing their job perfectly, putting down droids and you're feeling good because you know in your heart and in the force that the war will soon be over and that you soon can go back to doing whatever you were doing when you were just a simple Jedi protecting the Republic. All of a sudden something massive happens and your clone commander issues orders to his fellow clones clones who, with no warning whatsoever, immediately stop, turn in their tracks, and then try to kill you. Before Order 66, Cody was relatively fine with his Jedi generals, commanding them around, but deep down we all know that towards the end of the war, Cody and the other clones were pretty much fed up with taking orders from pompous Jedi. So that's pretty cool, don't you think? Leave your thoughts down in the comments, guys. I don't know, I mostly love Cody. He was a pretty confident and respectful clone, but what can you do? Order 66 ruined everything. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my friends, and may the force be with you. Always.